We're approaching the end of October, and that means the seasons are coming to an end for a variety of things, including Jackie Farmer's <laughs> Market. But at the same time, something else is going to be starting up. Absolutely. Very excited to have a familiar face on our program. Kelly Foss joining us this morning, of course, director of the Downtown Farmer's Market. And Kelly, we just want to write, kind of recap uh, how everyone's kind of pivoted and changed. But even you were able to find a way to bring the Farmer's Market to us. And that last opportunity of what you call the drive-through bite-sized market is happening this Saturday. Yeah, we really wanted to bring the downtown farmers market to people and there just wasn't a very clear, safe way to do that with everything that's been going on. And our market is, you know, it's like 13 city blocks and thousands of people. So we really had to modify. And as you said, pivot. This has been a year of pivots for us. So we are doing the drive through bite sized farmers market and it's a very modified version of our farmers market. We have 20 amazing vendors who have um, joined us and we're uh, right kind of at the foot of the Capitol right there uh, in, on the east side of downtown Des Moines um, every Saturday morning from 8 to 11. This is the final Saturday. We're doing a little bit of a a uh, little bit of celebration this Saturday. We'll have some costume characters. Um, we'll have some live entertainment. Um, some fun giveaways and some treats um, for kind of the Halloween uh, season. You know, you can even um, put your kids in the car, uh, dress them up in their Halloween costumes and come join us at the Bite Size Farmer's Market. I don't know if you can see my bounty here that I have. This is my first Zoom uh, interview I've done from my kitchen and I just could not resist showing off all of the items I purchased at the drive through Bite Size Farmer's Market this last Saturday. I have honey. I don't know if you've ever tried Shoshito peppers. Cat's Garden, she's amazing. She's been at the farmer's market for over 20 years. Um, if you've never tried Shoshito peppers, uh, she has like 25 varieties of peppers. So whatever you like, she's going to have. But I highly recommend the Shoshitos. And I have a great recipe. You can Google how to, how to cook them. They're amazing. But um, Arella salsa, salsa, Rebecca is there with us. Amazing fall produce, acorn squash. I was in a yoga class this weekend. And... Um, there were some young ladies uh, talking about uh, butternut squash and acorn squash, and they were so confused about which was which. And at our drive through Bite Size Farmer's Market, you can meet the farmer who's growing the produce, who's going to tell you exactly what you're buying, and give you some great ideas on how to cook it. Um, some amazing sweet potatoes for maybe your Thanksgiving meal that's coming up. And um, Iowa Coffee Company is there. You can buy bags of roasted beans. You can buy... A hot cup of coffee to warm you up as you drive through and shop from the warmth of your vehicle. Um, oh, and don't forget the dogs. Uh, we have uh, Watson and Molly. They are a very um, small, um, a couple of ladies actually who are doing some really great treats uh, for dogs, selling them at the Bite Size Farmer's Market. They, they've participated with us at the market. You may recognize them. Um, they've been with us for the last couple of years, but I could keep going and going and going. Um, I just really could not resist sharing these and, and doing that. When I, when I talk, I always love to have um, show and tell because here's Frisian Farms cheese. If you've never tried Frisian Farms cheese, I'm telling you it's amazing. But not only is it amazing, you to meet Mike Banstra, who makes this cheese in his little um, cheese factory here in Iowa. And he and his daughter are at the drive through Bite Size Farmer's Market selling it and greeting you and telling you the best cheese that um, that you will like for your palate. And it's just a lot of fun. Yes, it's different. Yes, it's not our, um, uh, you know, amazing Court Avenue Farmer's Market that we all um, crave and love so much. But this is really um, a fun way to celebrate our farmers and our producers and just really embrace the weirdness of, of this year and, and really just do the best we can to support our local farmers and businesses. Absolutely. Right. Kelly, do we just drive through or do we need to order in advance and pick up when we're there? How does that work? Yeah, so there's a couple of ways that you can do it. You can order in advance. We have the list of all of our vendors who are participating in the drive through market. You can go to our website, DesMoinesFarmersMarket.com and click on drive through market. You can see all the vendors and it takes you to each of their individual accounts. You can see what they're gonna have on Saturday. You can order it right there and they'll have it ready for you, bagged up and ready for you when you arrive. But also you can just come to the market without pre-ordering and just shop and purchase um, whatever you, your heart desires as, as you're in front of um, the, talking to the vendor while you're there. All right, so that's happening this Saturday, but uh, you have a winter's farmer's market coming up too, don't you? We do. 
And um, I just have to say, I, I really want to thank our, our main sponsor, Unity Point Health Des Moines. We wouldn't be able to do any of this without them. They've just really been troopers with us in this uh, crazy market season. Um, so we've also brought um, the winter farmer's market. And typically we would do a indoor winter farmer's market because it's cold outside, but we're gonna brave the elements and we are doing a drive-through bite-sized market. We'll have over 40 vendors participating with us. We'll have all the amazing late season producers. We'll have meat, cheese, eggs, um, some wineries, but we'll also add in the artists and crafters. So you can buy those unique gifts um, from local artists who have just really been um, trying to find ways to connect with their customers. We're going to bring them to the winter market. That's going to be Saturday, November 21st, um, 9 a.m. to 2. You can drive through um, from the warmth of your vehicle and um, shop the market. You Again, you can order in advance online. If you don't want to order in advance, you can still go still go to our website, see all the vendors that are gonna be there. They're, they're gonna be popping pictures up so you can see what they're gonna have and try to make your choices ahead of time. Um, it's, you know, it's different, but it's a lot of fun. It's a great way to um, support our local producers and artists and, and just have a little bit of fun while we're doing it. I love it, supporting local all the way. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for still thank you. continuing to bring our local vendors to us. Uh, last chance for the drive through bite size this Saturday, but that Winter's Farmer's Market just right around the corner. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you so much. Bye Thanks, now. Jim.